a performance for the London Jazz Festival with Strings uh, about two years ago at the ICA. And um, it was a new thing for us. It was, it was something that was suggested we should do because of the sort of soundtrack element of our music. Um, and uh, Evan, the drummer, knew Julian um, from playing around in London uh, and said he'd be just the guy for the job. Uh, and Julian came down and actually s helped score all, the, uh, all our old tunes. And we thought it was such a good relationship and such, a, such good fun, we wanted to sort of extend it on. But there is a slight kind of side issue with string players. A lot of string players, I think it's fair to say, a lot of string players um, are classically trained and don't understand the, the, the notion of embodying a piece or, or you know, feeling it rather than just reading the manuscript. Uh, and we wanted to find as many players as possible who could look up from that and just feel it. So Julian came up with this amazing idea of, of, uh, of teaching them this, teaching them the music without them ever seeing the music. That's, That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and because jazz is very much an oral tradition, like jazz was kind of, um, it was invented about the same time the phonograph was invented. And people learnt jazz um, from recordings and from each other. And there's a lot to it that you can't write down. You can't write down articulation, you can't write down swing. So we thought the best way to pass on the music Neil Kelly trio is to do it this way, um, orally, call and response, and getting people to really embody, to live with the music, and have that real emphasis on feel and groove. And so that's what we've done with Goldsmith Big String. And it's the coolest thing on the planet to play with a 30-piece string orchestra, you know. I mean, the, the trio is, is very, is very um, self-sufficient, but um, uh, just having kind of, it, like when I play the piano, I've sort of always got the sustain pedal jammed down to sort of create as much resonance as possible. And all of a sudden I discover there's this massive resonance going on behind us with 30 guys playing. Um, so it's, it's just like, Every time I play a chord, there's this beautiful warmth behind me and behind the band, and it's just a, a, a you know, it's a wonderful way of, of enhancing our sound. And, it, and and we wondered, you know, would it interfere? Would it would it interfere with our freedom? And and it really doesn't. It really doesn't. We still get our freedom to improvise or, or you know play around the tunes, but we get we get this wonderful chorus, choral feeling from the string players, and uh, and we get to meet a bunch of new people, you know, new musicians, we get to interact with new musicians, and that's key, you know, in keeping you fresh and keeping you musically alive, um, so it's been a thrill. String players are mad as well, you know, they're, they're all nuts, and uh, we thought we were sort of on the edge, but no, they're they right over the edge and into the precipice, so <laughs> it's good.